OK, let's look at downloading and installing Python and then PyScriptor. First of all, let's find Python. Let's just Google Python. Hopefully, the first hit that we should get is the actual Python website, www.python.org. Simply follow this link to the website. We want to download Python, so we need to use the download link from the left-hand side of the screen here. And then there are several different versions of Python. Now, the version that we're going to be using, because some of the tools that we'll use later only work with this version, is Python 2.7. Don't download Python 3. If you do, some of the tutorials that we use later on might not work. So we need to load Python 2.7. There's a Windows installer here for those of you using a Windows-based system. If you're using an Apple Macintosh, then there's an Apple-based installation here. So just make sure that you click the correct link for the type of operating system that you're using. Once you click the link, you should then get an option to save the file. Once you've saved the file, you'll then be able to open it and install the software. The next program that we need to use in order to get Python working is PyScriptor. So again, all we're going to do is visit Google, and then from Google, we're simply going to search for PyScriptor. Again, it should be the first link that you find. So just follow this link here. And then we need to go to the download section, either here or down here. I'm going to click up here. What you then need to do is simply download the executable file. Once you've downloaded this file, install it, and everything should be fine. 